Welcome to a Mother's Day special on the Slice of P.I., where we take quick hot takes on the news whenever you feel like it. I'm your host, Matt, and with me is my co-host and brother from another mother, Forge. <laughs> P.I. nyo, pay natin lahat, and for all the mothers... <laughs> can, you, can you do it? Are you sure you're going to do it? P.I. natin lahat. For all the mothers. P.I. natin lahat. Forge at your service. <laughs> We're finally doing it. We're, We're making a podcast it. for Mother's Day. <laughs> PI podcast, Mother's Day. Anyway, so of course, this is, this is from the heavens. You know, this is a yes. special slice because we're talking about a Mother's Day related yeah. drama. It's about someone writing a letter to his mother. And it exploded. It just happened hours ago. Hmm. So, uh, of course, it's about, it's written by Lorenzo Legarda, Leviste, known as Lance Leviste. And he, wrote an open letter to Rappler, which is a public news... Space. Yes, public space. It's a news outlet, basically. And it says... Okay, let me read a few things on what it says about Lauren Lagarda, who is running on the slate of the Unity team, which is BBM, Bomo Marcos, mm. and Sarah Duterte. Here's what he says. Uh, For weeks, I've been crying every day, screaming every day until I spat out blood. The decision she made is so profoundly unthinkable. Wait profoundly unthinkable and unconscionable and unforgivable. For weeks, I've been paralyzed in pain, but I have no choice but to publicly declare that I am absolutely disgusted by my mother and what she has decided to do. It sickens me and makes me want to die. Skipping ahead a bit. Mm. I refuse the normalization of a fascistic state, thuggery of lies, of alternative truth of our country's sorry history being rewritten as fable. And then this ends with more like I am in utter grief F my mother for abetting this their crimes are her crimes now make her defend them okay so this is of course the connection with his personal relationship with his mother but also mm. for political reasons now what mm. do you think about this letter you know as far as I'm concerned if the let you know if the letter have been written by someone to a stranger or to a politician that would have been nice now, this is the kind of polemic that i would like to you know to encourage this 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 raw utter, utterly raw and honest polemic against mm-hmm. you know what a perceived injustice a perceived uh, betrayal of democratic and liberal values but mm-hmm. the problem is this this was written by a son to a mother mm-hmm. and my primary comment to this one is well, first question would be to what end? You know, to what end? I don't think this can convince BBM supporters. So we can safely deduce that this is I, this is both uh, you know a genuine expression of discontent on one hand, and on the other, it's just there to solidify uh, the Lenny base. The problem is this is totally misaligned with Filipino culture. Mm. Totally misaligned. So I don't know uh, the, the, if if the Lenny camp accepts this, if the Lenny camp absorbs this or condones this letter, or if they defend the letter, they're inviting basically, a, you know, a taking time bomb into mm. their public image. What about you? What, what were your first reactions on this? Mm. Well, first of all, I, I am familiar with Lance, mm. you know, he, we're in similar circles, you know, um, friends of our friends and he seems like a nice person but a lot of the times a lot well a lot of times have changed and it's i was actually shocked a lot of people are in shock as well and the weird thing is that like you the sentiments are valid like okay you you are allowed to disagree with your parents politics god knows i've Mm. disagreed with my parents politics as well and you know you can do so uh, violently but it comes what really got to me was like outwardly disowning her son. There's even a line there that says that she has lost her son forever. I'm like, okay, for the, for the sake of politics, for running with uh, Bombo Marcos, you know, which who we, we must in a way recognize that he is not his father. He is not as ruthless as his father. So we can't really know for sure what will happen. But of course, it's okay to outwardly criticize him, but Again, that th- that last blow was too much, and I think there needs to be, well, a distinction here between the personal and the political. A lot of people want to want to equate that the personal 
is political. But for me, and I made this in my own social medias, that this is the, the personal being sacrificed for the political. In other words, it can be read as using your mother to s- virtue signal, to gain political points. And that's honestly, he, no, well, it, it disgusts me, to be honest. And you're right in mm. saying that the, Filip- the Filipinos should not stand for this because Filipinos love it. Mothers, you know. Yeah. In fact, I'm, I'm surprised that, of course, we haven't been counted <clears> since we have a almost a anti-mother name. But no, <laughs> it's really like, <laughs> like we love we, we love our mothers, you know. I mean, so we don't have an anti-mother name. It's an it's an expletive that need not, you know, need not yeah. be called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is here's the thing, you know. I, in a way, this is I want to discuss this because it's one way of distinguishing between when when are you allowed to, in a way, use the personal for the political or sometimes vice versa. In a way, it, it can be read either way. Like, for, for instance, why did she, uh, he have to publish it online? It could be in his personal account where his friends can see it. It could be a personal letter he can wrote to his mother himself. Why hmm. did it have to be in Rappler? Yeah. Perhaps it's, yeah. So is it because like he's using his personal experience and personal hatred for his mother as political ammunition mm. or is it using politics as an ammunition for his mother it could do both ways yeah. it's either justified that's what do you think yeah. George? Well, we, we can speculate on it but we judge based on what it is which is it's mm-hmm. in a public space whatever the yes. rationale behind it uh what we can do is to look at it as an artifact already mm. of you know it's a public artifact it could have been yes. otherwise, it could have been private, it could have been a limited mm. circle, but it's in public. Yes. And again, as I, I would re- like to re- reiterate, it's re- t- totally misaligned with Filipino culture on one hand. Mm. Uh, and on the other, yeah, I do second your point. This is to an extent the personal being sacrificed for the political. But then again, can we justify such a sacrifice? And mm. th- I think this, w- this is one conversation that, you know, at this point, Filipinos should have. Instead of merely assuming that the personal is political, we look at the personal something something that can be sacrificed for the political. Then we ask the question: What are the personal aspects of our lives that we can sacrifice for the public? Can we sacrifice a son and mother relationship? Can we sacrifice family? Can we sacrifice our identity? Can we sacrifice mm. our privacy? Yes. So it's, it, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, our individuality. But there, there are so many things about the personal in this, again, again, that's why I hate the idea that the personal is political because it, it ignores the dynamics uh, between the private sphere, the, the personal, mm-hmm. and of course the public sphere, which again, uh, ev- everything can be politicized. The personal can be politicized. How it is politicized is a different question that you can only right. ask if you stop assuming that it is political. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, but yeah, I think that's the n- n- main question. What are the aspects of the personal that we can sacrifice or should sacrifice? For, I mean, it's weird because especially when there's a electoral campaign, a lot of like dirty laundry is usually aired. Yeah. Uh, like, if ah, yung isang kandidato, o may anak sa labas, yeah. o minsan may scandal, di ba? o may yeah. bold, di ba? And, and it, it's used as ammunition to judge. But in a way, we can ask, like, what does this have to do with them being a politician? Hmm. To an extent, sometimes it is valid saying, for example, if they spent, if they're a gambler or hmm. if they have uh, dami nilang kerida, eh, baka gamitin hmm. niya yung pondo ng, mula sa gab- yeah. gabad ng bayan, di ba? Yeah. So these are, to an extent, valid concerns. Yeah. But with some like something like this, you know, like to, in a way, virtue signaling, saying like, oh, does this mean that you're a good person? Like, uh, I don't believe in her politics or politics are evil. Therefore, she's no longer my mother. Because I think I also mentioned this. Like, if he is against his mother, his politics, she could have easily perhaps ca- uh, campaigned for another person. That's just mm. as that's just as loud a message. You know, yeah. it could be another like uh, relatives of the Marcuses are campaigning against the Marcuses. Mm. So, and that's a loud enough. They didn't have to disown it, you know. Yeah. And yet here she, he is saying crying expletives to his mother i mean again if you take out those those parts it would have been an emotional but valid this time it's mm. just that's where the draw the line so uh the, i think the question is 
uh, when can we uh, mm. use the personal for the political and when where's the limit where's the boundary yeah mm. where's the limit you know uh, mm. regarding politicians and their privacy personally from a democratic perspective yes you know the higher you go in the hierarchy of the state or state institutions the less mm. privacy you should have and as far as i'm concerned okay. the highest position should not ha- should not have any privacy because okay. that because you are already in the political realm in in, in total and that's mm. what is demanded by the office Kung ano nga eh, as far as i'm concerned the president of the philippines should be in a glass house mm. oh, every right. activity he makes should be in public as far as i'm even concerned even when he goes shitting. to the toilet okay should be reported <laughs> to the public because that is a sacrifice he must make because he holds the highest form of authority in the state mm-hmm. you need to sacrifice privacy for that mm-hmm. so I, i've made some some similar arguments before but yes i think privacy in the public sphere you can sacrifice this but mm-hmm. this is you know <sighs> yeah you're right oh, para sa bato oh para sa bato this this letter is it's, it's just too extreme yes it baffles and, me you know in a way we are in no position to judge because there is information and context that is not available to us like yep yeah, that's, yeah. there's some like some mr parang nauna naman si lauren or something or she yeah. was a bad mother in the first place or maybe the fact that because of course he's an illegitimate child let's just let's just keep there those are just miss we were not going to entertain that Okay. Yun, we, uh, we're not going to judge or analyze yeah. those. So, so basically, we're not, we cannot judge, but it's yeah. made vulnerable of judging. Now people are talking about it. Mm. And in a way, you should have protected his family from that. I mean, of course, there are parts of that. I don't know. Here's the thing. It, it's also like against this idea of filial piety, where in, mm. in a way, you should honor your family sometimes, even if they're wrong. But again, to what extent can we Uh, criticize our family without utterly disowning them because mm. this is a trend with today's generation that it is okay to walk away from people who are deemed toxic whether it be mm. your family members or your friends you mentioned this before in mm. uh, like the episode 20 like toxic the episode traits, about yeah. to, fit, no the, the one before like bakit mahirap bang Pilipino we can check that yeah, out yeah 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 so yeah um So I don't know. What do you think about that? I know, Confucius would all already have an answer to filial piety and criticism, which is, hmm. you, to an extent, you correct, you gently remind your parents that they're wrong, hmm. but eventually, <laughs> this is where you need to defend them. So that that's that's the line hmm. drawn by Confucius. Right. Um, but again, uh, you know, for Filipinos, a gentle reminder would have been good. Mm-hmm. We are not keen as mm. uh, as a society. This is what makes us Filipino. Which is mm. we're not keen on attacking, you know, our parents mm-hmm. and our family members. But we we can gently remind them. Mm. I think that's how it goes. Yeah. But uh, you know what? I think this is why am I entertaining that 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 this is too Western? Only a Western. Mm. But then again, that this is this this is a prejudice against the West. I don't know if I should ask or. Our friends, if they would condone this, <laughs> I mean, probably to they be honest, e- probably even they won't. <laughs> there, if you well, I looked at some of the reactions to the to the letter, and these there are people, and some of them already <clears throat> defending him, saying that oh, good for you, uh, good like good for you for disowning her, like she deserves it. But at the same time, these this is again from uh, from a gen- people from a generation that are okay condoning with like disowning of parents. Take note that parents can- uh, have also disowned their children, mm. and it's not great either. You know, I think personally both are equally well. No, in, in a way, of the parents disowning a child is much more greater weight since they're the ones, in a way, of greater authority and of like power. And the child, if you, so yeah, it's they have a bigger responsibility, but. Either way, it's neither neither is good to disown your family. So again, um, I, I I I would maintain and assert that boundary between the private and the public. Like yes, they have a public uh, identity as politicians, mm. but your private uh, relationship with them is just as should still in a way should still maintain that kind of sacredness. You know, mm. and they may be. A bad mother, you know. Again, we cannot judge. Mm. We don't know, but whatever that is, 
you know, it would have been best kept private, mm. but maintained what needed to be made public, which is mm. your disavowal for politics. Mm. That would have been fine. Mm. You know? so, yeah, and, 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 and yeah. So what, can, in a way, let's move on. What can we learn from this with regards to the distinction between the public and private? Clearly, it's not as clear cut. Mm. There are ways in which, there, yeah, sometimes like children can, to a valid degree, uh, question, criticize, and even vilify their parents, but not disown them. You know, disown them is a bit, and even curse them to the high heavens. You know, so mm. what can we learn going forward from this particular incident? Okay. Uh, again, first let me reiterate. I think it's time for us to examine what are the parts of the private or the personal that should be and can be sacrificed to the public. So mm. that's one. Mm. Uh, or public good, to be more specific. What are the mm. aspects of our personal lives that can be sacrificed to that? Mm -hmm. uh, number two, I think one, th one thing that we can also learn from this you know, event is <clears throat> let's see the result of it, you know, how Filipinos would respond to this. Because this Filipino culture may... This can be an acid test, really, mm -hmm. on how mm -hmm. conservative or how you know, individualistic our society is. This can be an mm -hmm. acid test to it. So we'll see. If mm -hmm. there are more people who defend this without questioning it, then we are abandoning our old conservative familial mm -hmm. values. Mm -hmm. But if more Filipinos would condemn this, or would uh, argue for qualifications, mm -hmm. then our family values are still intact. So mm -hmm. I think this is an acid test. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. see what happens next, uh, if there are any backlashes to it. But again, mm -hmm. as I've said, uh, this, this will probably blow over in a few days. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's just but, an excuse to have a Mother's Day special in the yeah, but, 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 but But again, to those who have read it and to those who have responded to it, to our listeners who have, have read it and responded to it, yeah, I think it's an acid test for all of you mm -hmm. yeah. to check, uh, you know, uh, are you still aligned with traditional mm. familial values yeah. here? And third, mm -hmm. I think this opens another debate. How can we engage with our parents, especially mm -hmm. in public affairs? Yeah. So, so yeah. How do we engage our parents? Quite frankly. I don't. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, well, we may have that discussion, but we really should have no obligation to convince them of our politics because they yeah. have their own politics. They're yeah. they're citizens in their own right. Yeah, that's the weird. That's the weird thing. Sometimes when you look at our, we look at ourselves through the lens of citizens. <laughs> like we can, we are very distinct. We have our own in so, in, in a lot of ways. You know, we have our own politics, our own. Mm perspectives our own biases even from our parents you know, even yeah. in terms of spouses mother and father husband and wife you know so and brother and sister so they, and they should have their right mm. you know especially if this is the person's career sure you can disagree with it you can talk about how much you disagree with it fine but it can be still it can still be done in a civil way which tells us there must be something going on which again we have no business judging yeah, we have no business. yeah. yeah. but now that it is out in public People will, <laughs> people, people will try. People will pry. But again, I suppose in, in, when acting in public, try to <clears throat> focus on how it is a public concern. Mm. Like people like to cons uh, to assume that everything, even you know, even your scandals and you know, dirty laundry is political to an extent. Some in certain cases it is if you're a politician. But if you're a regular citizen, there should be privacy. There should be individuality, you know, there should be a separation. You know, you keep your cars close to your chest, you know. Like, in a way, sometimes you can ask, like, for, um, in some ways, you're, some people, like, allies, like, say, for example, there are four same-sex marriage, and some people say, bakit bakla ka ba? <laughs> and di naman, baka straight yung mga tao, tapos, you know, they just want to, they believe in that level of equality, or marriage equality, you know, but that it, that it, tries to question like the pers the personal that's what a lot of people in a way when when that's the weird thing you know they treat the the politics does have personal root but it becomes like it, it in, in a way it touches something in personal and they assume there's a personal stake into it sometimes it's not mm. you know so should we 
investigate the personal in every political thing like uh, bakit ano ba like if you for example and um so yeah like in, in things in, in issues like that um so it's i don't know i for i well this is my bias but at, as much as possible we should keep the the, the public concerns public and mm. private in a way out of it yeah. until absolutely necessary and even then mm-hmm. when you include your personal stake into it because sometimes a lot of politicians <clears throat> and citizens do so their personal experiences as political ammunition and that you can do that but to in a way uh destroy it in front of others mm-hmm. like it's it's tricky you know if there's no clear answer but it, it, there's this there is a limit and it's not oh there's no clear way when it comes to like disowning your parents or your children either way mm. there is a there, there there are some consequences you open up to certain things that are that complicate things like like what you said you cannot simply accept this uh this vilification of Lauren because it it's it sounds too personal to be valid you you, you know what i mean like mm. it's 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 almost not reasonable you know because they they used to, like you it, he mentions how he's screaming in pain you know because of it, 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 it is like it that. is it is a genuine expression of discontent mm-hmm. that one i would give yeah uh, but my response with your <clears throat> with your argument that there's a there's no clear answer to this uh, i think that there's one clear answer which is the border between the public and the private is not permanent it is always mm-hmm. redrawn by generations mm. through generations mm. so we need to take that into account is the line mm. between the private and the public between the personal and the political in the philippines being redrawn i think that's the question that's a clear question mm-hmm. yeah. and how far is it being redrawn mm-hmm. and i think this is also one way of you know the, the, there's probably a generational war yeah probably upcoming generational war i think you mentioned that there wasn't any now there is so i was like that's well, no wait, 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 no i said that there were long overdue for one that, that that's uh-huh. what i said i don't oh, know okay. who, who knows that this may this may be a part of it but mm-hmm. i think that it's not about having no clear answer per se it's about again the process is still ongoing Mm. That's why I also that's cannot it. admit that the personal is political because when you say yeah. the personal is political, you ignore the process of drawing and redrawing the line right. between the personal and the political. And yeah. that is a far more realistic assessment of what exists. So to be clear, to mm. sum up, like how should we, what is the ratio between the personal and the political? Is it is automatic or what? How would you rephrase that? Uh, again, it depends on... It depends first and foremost on who is involved in this. Mm-hmm. The ratio would be higher in favor of the public than the private if you're dealing with a public okay. official. Mm-hmm. But the ratio between the private and the uh, the public would be higher in favor of the private if you're dealing with a mm-hmm. private individual. But then again, the private individual can sacrifice more if he or she wants to be mm-hmm. more political. Depends yeah. on him. So I mean, it's a process, and it's stupid to say that it is because it doesn't apply to everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm okay. not gonna give parts of my private life to, to politics. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. shit in public. Mm-hmm. Yung know, challenge ko so, to a- anyone saying that the person is political, the burden of data, the burden of proof is on you. Prove to me mm-hmm. that every aspect of me shitting is political. Then I would mm-hmm. admit that you, your argument is correct. But if you cannot prove that every aspect of me shitting is political, then your argument is flawed. It's a slogan. Okay. I don't know. I, I, one thing, I mean, <clears throat> one thing that I I want to say is because well, this is also a private stance on like a mm. certain morality. Like, f- family should always be valued. Like, mm. you may not it you may it you may not have the they might not be your favorite people, but they mm. should still remain intact because in a way, whether you like them or not, you know, we as human beings yearn for our family to be intact. I mean, it may not be passionate, but as long as it's functional, then that's in a way, a stability that helps you with your politics. Mm. I mean, that's the weird thing. If you sacrifice it for like for your mo- to get back at your mother, it might even benefit her. Some people say that it might give her the sympathy vote, and especially when she says, "I forgive you, son." I, <laughs> she that shows you her as a loving mother. So <laughs> that backfired. So yeah. Anyway, so that is, <laughs> so at least that's me. But again, in terms, mm. it's never easy, and it's w- always worth examining, and it. it's always a question. 
moving forward. So it's yeah. never easy. It's not absolute. All right. So that is it. Um, this is, of course, going to be released b- just before the elections. But uh, perhaps one last comment on the upcoming elections if, for those who are listening to this before the elections. One last comment. I don't know. Mm. Why the hell are you voting? Okay, ah, that's my comment. Of course. <laughs> that's now, uh, whether or not you are voting, I think there are other <laughs> ways of participating. You may be a poll watcher. You may be a volunteer for the PPCRV and Lamfrel. You know, these are valid ways of participation. But of course, w- regardless of the of the results, you know, be vigilant and be good, uh, active. Do not waste the goodwill that has been built up and the the civic passions that have been activated for this law. So even beyond the elections, there's still a lot of work to be done. We have and good hopefully, will. Yeah, <laughs> when, hopefully, um, we can continue to listen to this podcast for more guidance. <laughs> All right. And we have, we have good will. I, I thought this is just one toxic slurge. <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, there, there's <clears throat> some thing to be found. Like, again, this yeah, comes fair. from like a genuine expression of moral outrage, which is again valid. I mean, yes, it is, it's good to that he knows that martial law is bad. Supporting B- Bumbo Marcos is bad. Duterte, bad. But again, should you sacrifice your mother for it? Well, hmm. Anyway, so yeah. that is it for this slice. Perhaps we can have another episode on family and morality. We can talk about yes. it with an expert. On, That's who wonderful. knows? Maybe. All right. And so the slice of PI is part of the PI podcast. You may find the PI podcast at Anchor, Spotify, and YouTube. And if you want to send us an email with a comments, questions, or suggestions, you may uh, send it to us at PI podcast, ph at gmail.com. But until the next episode, Magandang gabi, mga ka-PI. Mm-hmm.